hello everyone welcome to another video if this is your first time on my channel i just want to say thank you for stopping by your presence here is really appreciated um i hope before you leave you will click that subscription button leave a comment and like and share the video i'm to my returning subscribers i just want to say thank you guys for the continued support thank you for always being here really appreciate you guys i'm not in my regular settings today as you can see i'm actually at work on a break so i decided um i was trying to upload a video and i realized um that i haven't done an intro so i said let me do a quick one so um today i'll be doing um a loaded fried plantain right you know like you have loaded chips here yeah, i'll be doing a loaded fried plantain so stick around and don't go nowhere the video is coming up shortly Mark, I represent. yeah the same one money we are free for the hero money me are free to your share so guys welcome back um I went ahead and chopped some of the ingredients already that we'll be using in this um, loaded fried plantain. And what, what I did, you know, I just have my sweet pepper here and my bell pepper, chop them up fine and have my onion along with um, some cherry tomato. Basically these tomatoes are the tomatoes grown up as a child that you used to have in the back of your yard, right? Now you come for and buy them in a supermarket for much money and we have some scotch bonnet pepper, right? So for now, we're gonna be using that. Other ingredients that we're gonna be using are like, I'm gonna be using some lemon, right? And um, yeah, so let's go on. We have some shrimp or prawns as we call them here in the UK. And we have some mince. So that's some steak mince and I went ahead and washed this with some lemon and some vinegar already and also have some cheese. I have some red Leicester cheese and some cheddar cheese, right? So we are kick off a ball. Also, we know we are a plant that we are cooked, so we have some ripe plant that we are going to use. So I'll show you them there and show you the chefs. So, don't go away. The next process, I want to drop them in a pot, all right? So, we'll come. All right, so this pot, I'm going to add a bit of olive oil, all right? Not a lot, all right? Make that go and steal this a little bit. Alright, so this is more than hot, so we'll drop some onion. And we'll just make them, um, just make these brown a bit. Alright, so now make them burn. So we'll just make them, the saute them, make them get caramelized. Alright. Alright, so we we'll drop the pepper in as well. So now we want to add our tomatoes. Just going to mix this around. So now we have add some color to the pot. Mm -hmm. 
Det var så mycket så när han gick så allt allt blev var så fin överfin. Det är snart alla lite lemon juice. Det ska bli tangy. Och nu kan vi bara finna en gel. Just look on the color. Right. right now, the flavor we have burst out of this is supreme, trust me. Alright. So that's that. And we have a hard with mince, right? Get them all fall in together. Alright, get it all mixed in. Now that it brown a bit, we have to add some seasoning. So we have a bit of mixed seasoning we're going to be adding. We have all purpose, chicken season, jerk season, all of them season, alright? So we're going to add a tablespoon and a half of seasoning. When you're doing this, a season to taste, right? The season to how you like it. So, We'll drop some season right and then we are gonna test it, see if we want more. Alright. Okay, so look at it, it's all coming together. And we got the crown. So now we're gonna add some cheese. And then I'll take them little time and melt down. Alright. Just put them all over. Right. So we'll mix it so now. Cheese them and melt, so take time. Mix it in. There's a time on mixing the cheese, little by little. And with this, you add as much cheese as your heart desire, like. You know, have a set measurement, you just add what your heart desire. Make it as, you want to make it as cheesy as you want it, all right? So, that, so what that mozzarella cheese did, the 
mozzarella cheese is what holds it together, all right? So after adding your mozzarella cheese, you get all that glueiness. We're gonna add some Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle your Parmesan cheese over. I said you add as much cheese as you wanna add. Right? Make it as cheesy as you want it. And I hit that. So now I'm gonna add some more bell pepper and I'll leave these just for coloring, all right? Just for coloring. So I want a bit of color to be popping in this, all right? And a bit of crunch. Right, we want to make it attractive. Right, so now, so now that we have it looking like this, we leave this and let it simmer for about another two, three minutes. And I eat that. And I just want you to take time. Take a little time to look, appreciate the color. Appreciate how beautiful this is. And like, the smell is beautiful as well. Alright, so we're gonna just leave it a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and come back and show no how I go on. Alright? Alright guys, we'll just give that a final stir. Alright. Final turn around. And just get it back to a nice beautiful shape. So guys, that is our finished product for this bit. Now I'm gonna show how we prepare a planting. You know, we plant a quick one to finish. So I eat this for now. I'm soon come back. So guys, we have our oil right here, hot, and then we have some plantings, some ripe plantings. So we do we just drop some planting in, All right? Leave them at them fry. I will just all left them and let them fry it till for about two or three minutes until them golden brown, right? Good. So guys, yeah, so we'll pull the plug on them plant in here. Right, that's what them do. Alright. All nice and golden. Alright. So guys, I like that. All golden, all nice. And this is what I'm going to call my crinkled planting. Alright? Nice cut. Shape like chips. But I don't know. Eat that. So, so guys, this is our finished product. Our loaded fried planting. I just want you to take time out to look at that beauty. Um, yeah and i just want to say thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you guys if you made it to the end of this video know that i really appreciate you guys all right and um if you're new here and you want to see more exciting videos like this exciting recipes like this just bang that subscription button bang the like share and also drop a comment and tell me what you think um bro this 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 is just amazing this is just the flavor bursting out of it and everything is so so good and um yeah i'm just gonna dig in i don't really want to spoil it but I'm, I'm gonna dig in to show you what's going on inside so that's that cheese glueiness and that's that plant in inside you just wanna ensure that you get everything together look at that mm.
guys, trust me. You wanna try this. So this is where I leave you guys. I just wanna say thank you guys again for watching. I know I can't say thank you enough because I really appreciate you guys. So I just wanna say thank you guys again for watching. Thanks for the love, thanks for the support, All right? And um, just remember to share with a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend, join the movement and let's grow together, all right? Again, thank you guys for watching. I said that already in it, <laughs> but thank you guys. And until next time, walk good. I love you. Know?